Hello welcome to part 2 of the Roblox Ability Tutorial. We are gonna make the animation for the slam now. You can make your own, it doesn't have to be like mine. If you do want mine I will link it down below in the description. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make animations comment it and what you want to learn to animate. Make sure to set the animation priority to action. Make three folders in the server script and rename them to animation sound and VFX. Now we make the folder variables in the script. Copy what I type. Here we load the animation to play it. Let's test the animation now. Well that works perfectly, let's continue. We now add debris so the hitbox goes away after a certain amount of time. We now search for VFX pack in the toolbox for the effects. Change the color to what you like and make the material neon. Rename them and put them in the VFX folder we had made. Now we make the hit detection. Again copy what I type. If you have any questions about something you don't understand just comment it and I will answer. Here we check who has been hit by the hitbox and make sure it's not our player. This will destroy the part when it hits something. We now add the enemy variables.
We now will make the enemy take damage as a check. Let's test it. Ok it works. We will now change the hitbox name to part and copy the part script and paste it and rename that to the hitbox. We do this so the hitbox becomes bigger when it hits initially. Add another, and, so the error goes away. Change the frame of hitbox to the humanoid root part and set anchor to true. As you can see it works great. Now we fire client to the local script so we can reuse the ability. Now go to the local script and copy this. This receives the event we fired in the server script. Oh it doesn't do damage. Took me 20 minutes to figure it out. Copy what you see on screen so it works. That's it for this part, next part we will do the effects and some cool stuff to add to it. Make sure to like and subscribe and bye.